Hello, I'm Peter Irvine, and uh, we've got about 100 videos now on Business Bytes at Peter Irvine Kingdom Momentum, and you can go to those anytime, and we will be adding uh, videos uh, during the, the next year as, as time goes by and subjects come up. But I'm starting a new series, and it's called Connecting Faith to Business. What is God saying to business people from each book of the Bible? So I'm going to be doing two videos from each book. I can't cover every subject that comes up, so I'm trying to keep it relevant and, and challenging and, and sow ideas with lots of stories. You know, there's 66 books in the Bible, so if I do two videos on each book, that's 132 videos. You know, there are 32 books of the 66 books that have the word go, actually somewhere in those books, and sometimes many times. So God is interested in us growing and he wanted his people to listen, learn and grow. He didn't want them to stagnate or settle down because when they did, they became disillusioned and uncomfortable and they weren't you know, on mission. And in our business and our careers, our churches, ministries, in life, family, you know, we need to be moving forward, listening, learning and growing because God wanted his people to do that so he could bless them so they could be a blessing to other people and be a testimony to other people. So through this series, we're going to cover some subjects like a good vision, a bad vision, leadership, mentoring, momentum, customer service, how to promote. Yes, it's all there in the Bible. You'll be quite surprised. And we're going to cover those and many more subjects. You see, uh, without a vision, Proverbs 29, 18 says, without a vision, people perish. So Habakkuk says in chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, is get it clear, write it down, and speak it out. And this applies to your business, your career, you know, your church, even to your family. I've had people say, well, this vision thing is overrated. Well, that's why I said you're going around in circles because you don't have one. You've got no focus to be able to move forward. And John uh, 3 John 2 says, I trust you'll prosper in all things. Notice all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. So there is an expectation that we're going to prosper in every aspect of our life. So the next video is going to start with Genesis and uh, I trust you'll uh, tune in and learn and be challenged from that. Just to finish this video, uh, look, there's so many things I could recommend that have helped me over many years, but let me just share a few, and notice this is a few that I'm gonna share with you now. Uh, one of these is a, a Bible put out by John Maxwell called the Maxwell Leadership Bible, and it took me four years, four and a half years to actually start from Genesis 1, work my way through to Revelations and what God had to say to me as a business person and then as a, a person in ministry these days. Uh, there's another book uh, by Phil Cook. Uh, he's a Christian producer of programs, uh, movies, uh, helps churches and ministries uh, in the US and actually around the world. And he's just released a book called Maximize Your Influence. Well worth getting. If you're in Australia, you probably have to go to Amazon. Uh, you can get it from Phil Cook uh, Business himself uh, in America. Uh, some devotionals that don't cost you anything. The Word for Today in Australia, thewordfortoday.com.au. You can get it in the uh, digital version or you can get the printed book, which I like because you can write on. Uh, believinginyou.com.au and joelosteen.com. I always find his word is always timely and relevant and uplifting and we need this in this day and age. And, you know, if you're stuck or you're not sure about priorities, there's a couple of great books called Enriched, Redefining Wealth by John Sycamore, and Halftime by Bob Buford. Now, you can either get these from John Sycamore himself or you can go to uh, our website, kingdom-momentum.com.au because we have some of these resources uh, on there that you can order from there if you have any difficulty getting them. But unless you invest in yourself in listening, learning and growing, there's no way you can be challenged and we just stagnate and we have no good input in our lives. So fasten your seatbelt and get ready for the next video which will start with Genesis. Thank you.